Hey guys, it's me Jake from Jakeman21642. Today I've got a video for you of this 2014 Infiniti QX80. This one is a very nicely loaded four-wheel drive model. As you can see, this one's finished off in a silver exterior. Outside you can see your tinted rear privacy glass, as well as your running boards down below. Fuel cap is on the driver's side, and you also do have your chrome door handles, as well as your body-colored mirrors with your blind spot monitoring built in. You can see some chrome accenting on the front, as well as your 5.6 badge right there. Up top, this has a sunroof, as well as your factory roof rails, all of that. Some more chrome trim around the windows as well. Around the rear, you can see your rear backup sensors. We also have ordered a uh, trailer hitch cover for this one. It just does need to be painted before it's put on the car. And you can see your Infinity badges. This one does have a rear backup camera as well. QX80 right there. On the side, everything follows through. And down below, this one is riding on Firestone Destination tires. They are P275, 60 R20s. So 20 inch alloy wheels, rear disc brakes, all of that. And like I said, everything follows through over here. It's your running boards, chrome door handles. Up front, you do have projector HID headlights, your fog lights down below, and front parking sensors. So it's a chrome grill. Go ahead and start it. This one does have remote start. Just make sure it's locked. Press and hold. And otherwise, on the key, you do have lock, unlock, and then press and hold again down here, and it will release your trunk. Go ahead and close that. And also, on the bottom of the key, of course, you do have panic. But we'll step in. As I mentioned, this one does have intelligent entry. Just walk up, have the key fob with you. Press the lock, which it was unlocked, and then press again to unlock. Very, very nice. We'll go ahead, get inside of this one. As you can see, it does have the black leather interior. Infinity door sills down below, as well as your full power driver's seat. You can see your Infinity badging on the seats as well. Stepping in. Go ahead and start it, put on the brake, and press right here. And just have the key fob inside, and you're all good to go. And once you're inside of this QX80, and I'm going to apologize right now, I've probably already called it a QX56, and I will probably continue calling it a QX56. Same thing, just bear with me on that one. I do apologize at the start of this video. But inside, you can see, you do have a leather-wrapped steering wheel. One thing I love about these is just the nice, heavy hydraulic steering that they have. On this side of the wheel, your audio system, Bluetooth phone controls. Over here, your cruise control. Up top, it's all padded material. You have your padded stitched leather around here. Both your automatic front windows, power locks, power mirrors, all of that. Storage, down below. Over here, your power trunk release, as well as some more controls for your rear power outlets and your gauge shimmer. Up top, the dashboard itself is all a soft padded material around the top. You have your padded stitched leather on each side. So little some more padding over there. In the middle, you can see the beautiful gauge cluster that these get. Your engine temperature, battery voltometer, tachometer, and then speedometer. Fuel gauge and engine temperature over there. And then your center display, you can see this one literally just hit 118,000 miles. And if you go back through my channel, I filmed one of these a few years ago that had almost 200,000 and ran and drove just as good as this one does. So typical Japanese car. I mean, it's barely broken in with that mileage. Also did forget to mention your power seat memory here. Up top, center channel for your Bose audio. You can also see your audio system right here. AM, FM, CD, auxiliary in, satellite radio, Bluetooth audio streaming, everything you'd expect, and it sounds great. All of your controls, AM, FM, your CD, auxiliary, all of that. You can also bring up your map on the display. Obviously, it is equipped with navigation. Bring up your camera as well, your backup and 360 view. As well as different info, status, settings, things like that. You can see it also does have kind of a split screen view. I mean, overall, just a very super simple uh, system to use. I believe this also is a touch screen as well. Down below, your preset stations, CD player. You do have your analog clock in the middle. So this very nice looking wood grain throughout. Down below, dual zone automatic climate control, zone to the passenger, zone to the driver, fan speed, your defrost, and everything else around there. More wood grain in the middle, storage in there, as well as two cup holders over here, power outlet, and all of that. 
Over here, we have your heated seat controls for the driver and passenger. They are two stage, high and low. This control will drop the second row seat down. And then I believe this does the same thing for that side. Um, 12 volt outlet up front, and then you do have a, then you do have your passenger airbag indicator and a heated steering wheel right there. Shifter for your seven speed auto, this one is equipped with drive and manual mode, and then reverse. It does have a rear backup, as well as the 360 camera. So too, the mirrors will power tilt down. Forgot to mention too, the exterior mirrors are auto dimming. Padded armrest in the center, storage inside of there with your AVN for the rear entertainment. Seats are very comfortable, high quality leather. These are in great shape as well. You have the perforated leather in the middle and then your piping around the edges. As I mentioned, the Infinity logo too. Up top, sunroof, which you do have your visors, vanity mirrors built in. These also will go to the side and extend. In the middle, you can see your auto dimming rear view mirror, garage home link built in, as well as up top, you have all of your interior lighting controls, sunroof controls, and your sunglasses container. Sunroof, right there. I mean, overall, just a great place to be. I mean, I know the styling on these is a bit controversial to say the least, but I've been a fan of these since they came out. I think it's a great design. I love the driving position, the interior space, and just overall the driving dynamics of these as well. Same goes for the Armada. But we'll go ahead and step out, unlock everything, and pop the hood right down here. Now, as I showed, you can drop the second row from up front. I believe that's for ease of entry to the third row. That will just flip up and out of the way. And see, you do have third row seating for three, and I mean, it is actually usable third row seating. Up top, more seat controls, cup holders, things like that. Go ahead and pop that back up. And stepping in, I mean, in the back seat, it is what you would expect for something like this. I'm six foot two, I have no problem sitting behind myself. I believe this is the touring package that gives you this. But you have the very nice center console, storage right there, cup holders up front underneath of the wood grain cover. And I mean, it just looks so good. More storage built into the front up there. I mean, I love this. It overall just kind of gives it a limo vibe in the back. You can see back seat leather, same as up front, your infinity badges and all of that. This one, as I mentioned, does have the rear entertainment system, which is very nice, simple to use. You have your wireless headphones for it down below. Heated seats for the rear passengers, as well as your rear climate controls. They are single zone automatic. Very nice and simple to use. More storage in the middle and all of that. And up top too, you can see your vents, as well as interior lighting controls. The handle right there. Inside of the trunk on this one, which as I showed is power, just press to release. And inside you can see, even with the third row up, you get a fantastic amount of space in here. Now to drop it down, nice and simple, just press. It is full power, it will lower down. Not exactly the fastest thing in the world, but you can see it is going. But that should give you an idea of space with the third row up versus with the third row down. As you can see, either way, there's plenty of. On the sides, you do have different power outlets, tie downs. You can see your rear floor mat. More storage underneath of there. And everything else. Go ahead. Close the trunk right there. seat on this side everything follows through up top and just drop the seat down from right there to access the third row child locks built into the door on this side and up front you do have a power passenger seat power lumbar as you would expect you can see more lighting down below and inside of here, 
This is what I was looking for in the back. Include your remote for the rear entertainment system. Then you can see this one has all of the original owners that are chirped, everything inside the original wallet. Go ahead, put the headlights. And you can see up front, like I mentioned, projector, HID headlights, fog lights down below. And then under the hood on this QX. This one does have Infinity's 5.6 liter V8. And you can see everything under here is in great shape. Just ticking away, running fantastic. And for what these are, even despite the size, these get up and go with this engine. Go ahead, bring the automatic driver's side window back up. Cut it off. See the steering wheel and seat will move out of the way. Move the key and headlights back in auto mode. As always, this vehicle is for sale at Volvo of Richmond here in Richmond, Virginia. If you are interested in this vehicle, please let Volvo of Richmond know you saw this video. Thanks for watching.